Could you briefly elaborate on how you believe we can address regulatory barriers to supply chain trade? Okay, well, it's a very complicated uh, subject, which is why we haven't made a whole lot of progress. But I think one of the necessary conditions for moving forward in terms of reducing the, uh, the impact of differences in regulation is to bring the regulators into the room, but also with the people who are being regulated and the people who are benefiting from regulation. So I think we need to have a mix of, of the regulators, the businesses that are kind of operating supply chains today, but also the consumers who are worried about their health and safety. But I think we need to have much more of a discussion that cuts across those different groups in terms of identifying why we are doing things differently. I think one of the big issues here is that there are different approaches being taken by regulators, but ultimately we all have the same objectives. So I think the trick here is to say, uh, can we come up with processes through which we can agree that what we're doing is equivalent? Right? I might do it very differently, I might have different norms, but ultimately what I care about is health and safety, and so therefore we agree to accept each other's norms without imposing additional testing every time uh, something crosses the border. Great, thank you. Uh, can you please explain to our viewers briefly the concept of experimentalist governance and how it would apply to trade? Okay, well I think that the notion of experimental governance is really kind of something that is predicated on bringing the various stakeholders that are affected by a particular uh, issue, which could be a policy issue, it could be an investment decision, it could be lots of things, but where essentially it's a process of deliberation and consultation where everybody who is affected by that particular decision, and in this case what we're talking about is regulation, is actually part of um, a process through which we agree on what are our objectives, and how are we going to get there. But also, and I think this is one of the, the important parts of the experimentalist governance notion, is they also are part of what you can call the production process, in a sense that they are also going to provide information and feedback and monitor the extent to which whatever is agreed is actually being realized. Uh, so I think it's more of a bottoms-up process where all the people who are involved in that activity actually jointly kind of contribute both to the realization of the activity and kind of learning from whether or not they're having the intended outcome or result. Uh, you advocated bringing in the private sector more into the conversation. What are the main challenges you see facing businesses and governments to induce them to participate in the supply chain councils? I think, uh, I think one of the big issues is convincing business that this is worth their while because it's going to require some investment on their part. So is that investment going to have a rate of return in the sense, you know, are we actually, can you credibly say that by participating you will contribute to kind of improving the regulatory environment uh, so that's one. Uh, I think the other big challenge is uh, more towards the government side is how can you convince governments that this is not just something that is going to be captured by business and is just reflecting the interests of particular businesses but that we're really focusing on things that matter for everybody. Right? So I think you know, government should care about economic welfare for, for, for society as a whole. So I think we need to kind of have mechanisms in place that you can actually credibly say we are promoting the social good as opposed to just helping some businesses make more profits. So I think those are the big challenges, uh, kind of convincing business that it's worth doing, convincing governments that the way we do it is, is uh, moving in the direction that we're actually improving outcomes for everyone as opposed to just business.